Welcome again. Right now we're at Ephesians chapter 4, verses 29 to 32. Sins of the mouth. Paul says, let no corrupt speech proceed out of your mouth. Let no corrupt speech proceed out of your mouth. Don't think you're going to heaven with the language of hell on your lips. But only what is good for building others up, as the need be, that it may give grace to those who hear. Don't grieve the Holy Spirit of God. Notice, in the context of the sins of the mouth, it says, don't grieve the Holy Spirit of God, in whom you were sealed for the day of redemption. Let all bitterness, wrath, anger, outcry, and slander be put away from you with all malice. And be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving each other, just as God also in Christ forgave you. If you are truly a follower of Jesus, if you are truly a disciple of the Lord, you are a holy people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, and you need to behave as such. Don't live like the rest of the world lives. Don't walk like the rest of the world walks. Don't talk like the rest of the world talks. And don't think like the rest of the world thinks. Live in holiness and walk in righteousness. Seek God with all your heart, and if you do, you will find Him. Call upon Him, and He will show you great and mighty things. Love you guys.